Good day, everyone. Let's check out this dog training collar. It's a dog shock collar, 2,000 feet range, and uh, it's got a remote. That's for small, medium, or large dogs, 120 pounds, up to 120 pounds, and it's waterproof. Here's everything that comes in the box. Got the collar, got the tester here. This is how you test to make sure the shock function's working. Got the charger, the remote, and some directions. It also comes with a little caution warning sign. It just says to make sure to check the skin conditions of the dog's neck every day for any abnormalities. So normally when I use these, I don't leave it on at night. It even says don't leave the collar on for over 12 hours a day. It's better within six hours and uh, reposition the collar every couple hours. And well, as you can see, it really comes with some good directions, some step-by-step -step directions. And I'll go through all this with you. Well, this charger is really nice because you can charge the remote and you can charge the collar at the same time. We'll do just that. It says charge it prior Let's to go use. ahead and take off the uh, protective covers on these as well. Here's what the connection on the charger looks like. Plugs right into the back of the collar and then right into the bottom of the remote. We'll hook this to a USB. That's what it looks like when it's charging. That's what the collar looks like too. Well, here is the on and off button. If you're looking at it straight on, it's this top one to the right. Hold that down turn off. And this one here is the channel selector. So you're going to want to choose between which channel you want to train on. So you can operate multiple collars and just set them for different channels. But for now, we're just going to go channel one, which is shown right there. Then to turn the collar on, just hold this button back here. Don't forget to remove this protective cover as well. Okay, this button right here is the dog finder indicator button. You press it to light up the collar's indicator and Press and to light it and press again to turn it off so you can see, watch. Press it there, it lights it up. You have to turn it off. You have your different modes here. So you've got this one, it's the vibrate, which is that one. And this here is the audible. You can see. You can adjust the settings on that too. And then this is the shock one. Now to test that, you're going to take this piece here and then set this right on there and then press the button the shock button and it'll light up see that that means the shock function is working this button over here adjust your levels of whatever you want so what you want to do here you can see that shock noise and vibrate and so you just switch function whatever one you want so if you want vibrate push vibrate there and then you can you can bump up your levels of vibrate. Looks like it goes up to 18. Do the audible, right? That's 18, or you can knock it down. Same thing for the shock function. Press the shock function. You can see we'll knock it. We'll knock that down a little bit. It goes up to 18. Let's try it at like nine for now. I said 18 on these. They go from zero to 19. That's the antenna right here. And then this is the level of the LCD screen right as there. As far as pairing it goes, it says you can skip this step because the product's already matched. Um, and the paired channel is channel one. But here's the instructions here. I'd go ahead and pause this if you do need to go ahead and pair it up. And you can pick a separate pairing channel, as I mentioned before, for pairing up an additional receiver, receiver or two, which is down in the same steps as above, which is shown in the same steps above. A couple extra instructions here before we put this on the dog. It says if your dog isn't responding to the electric shock, consider some solutions here. Maybe the hair is too long. Give them a little treat to sit. If they're not already good at sitting, I'll go ahead and put this on. Make sure this thing fits. You got an adjuster right there too. Go ahead and put that on. It's got a little clip right there. Ready for your new collar, buddy? Okay, now you can see this collar here. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it hanging off there loose. You want it just about like that. I can get my fingers behind it. It's not too tight on them. You don't want them to be uncomfortable, but you want it to be effective. Okay, there we go. We're back in action. All right, you guys, thank you for watching.